So with this effort here, we'd like to commemorate the original construction of the World Trade Center bathtub. And for this reason, we generate an approximate uh, augmented reality model. What we're seeing here is the perimeter of the excavation, which was constructed with a slurry wall technique, which later became known as the bathtub. And we'll see how construction stages would go forward in uh, a type of construction like this, which is a deep excavation. We'll talk to the program and we'll say, next stage. And this will take us to the next stage, or we'll animate like this. Forward to stage one. Go to next stage. Forward to stage two. Forward to stage three. So as we move through the construction stages, we can actually see ground tankers being installed. Zoom in. Zooming in. And we can go to next stage. And we can move through stages. Forward to stage four. Last stage. This will have been the total construction with all the ground anchors, seeing the tunnels under the Hudson, the Twin Towers, an approximate model of them, and doing the excavation in the center will have allowed the crews back then to actually be able to uh, create the foundations and the deep basement for the original World Trade Center. When the recovery efforts took place, the construction crews and the rescue teams had to actually restabilize the perimeter walls with a new set of ground anchors because those ground anchors of the original construction were temporary. A lot of people contributed to that, a lot of companies, and would like it to recognize all of them. Um, and um, this is the list of what we could do here to commemorate all the contribution by engineers uh, and everybody that helped in the rescue crews uh, during the 9-11 recovery efforts.